What is discipleship? Well, as is so often the case, words uh, can have meanings that are broad enough to encompass things we're in favor of and things that we're not in favor of, and this would be no exception to that. Uh, discipleship is, uh, at the end of the day, at least what it ought to be, is that process that we're following uh, when we're about the business of fulfilling the Great Commission. Jesus said, Go ye therefore into all the world, making disciples, uh, instructing them to obey whatsoever I command. Now, some may limit this idea of making disciples or discipleship uh, to simply the work of evangelism, that uh, we're used by God to proclaim the message which, by the power of the Holy Spirit, moves someone from a posture of being an unbeliever to a posture of being a disciple. And you could argue that our work is done there. Most people, however, would argue that it includes uh, the training that goes on after that conversion. We don't instantly, when we're converted, know all that Christ commanded, much less know how to obey it. So discipleship, uh, rightly understood, is that process by which we encourage one another on to righteousness. Uh, I'm discipling my family as the head of my family. I'm discipling my congregation uh, as a pastor of a local church. I am discipled by uh, men and women that I look up to and respect and, and ask to, to instruct me and guide me and, and give me uh, wisdom. So those are all good things, and I can't uh, possibly imagine why anyone would have any objection to that. Uh, there's a couple of dangers, however, that can sort of go on this uh, side of the spectrum. That one side of the spectrum, I think, is an error if it's just trying to get people converted. On the other side of the spectrum, there's a perspective that uh, can, can fall into one of two errors. One is uh, treating discipleship as a kind of second blessing. This is a very common problem in the church where uh, Christians... Uh, sort of want to create two levels of Christianity. Uh, there's this kind of Christian, and then there's this better kind of Christian. And there's all sorts of ways that we uh, uh, draw that line between the the mediocre Christians and the good Christians. It might, it might be that the mediocre Christians uh, don't speak in tongues and the, and the super Christians do. It might be that the mediocre Christians don't believe in the doctrines of grace and the super Christians do. And all of that's really stupid. There's plenty of sin to go around. There's plenty of spirit to go around. Uh, I, I, you know, what you believe about these things is a question of biblical fidelity, absolutely. But that doesn't mean uh, that you have now risen to another level of the Christian faith. So, uh, if discipleship is sort of one of those tools, oh, look at the church, the church is so worldly, Christians are so worldly, but I'm in a discipleship program, and our discipleship program does this and does that and does that. Now, again, if the discipleship program is bringing to, uh, uh, into your life the ordinary means of grace, then by all means, yay and amen, I'm in favor of that. But again, if the idea is that some sort of program is going to make you some sort of super Christian, that's very, very dangerous. The other danger, I think, is a much less common, but it's real. Uh, discipleship can uh, descend into uh, a level of unhealthy control of one person or one group of people over another. Some of the uh, cult-like practices that we hear talked about uh in certain circles are sort of connected to this idea of discipleship. So I'm going to come in, into your sort of spiritual boot camp and you're going to lead me and guide me and you're going to decide uh, whether or not I should take this job or that job or buy this house or marry that person. That's when it gets uh, a, a little uh, sticky. Now, I also need to 
remind us that uh, a lot of times there are places where uh, people who are discipling other people are speaking wisdom into somebody else's life, and that because the person doesn't like it, they treat that like cult-like. So balance, my friends. Seek the means of grace. Remember that we're all on the same plane. And look for someone that you can help and look for someone that can help you.